Now we've had a look at the conditions related to cul-de-sac creation, we're now going to go ahead and create one at the end of row 2. So I'm just going to zoom in to the end of row 2 at this location here. You'll see in the drawing that there is a magenta polyline and this magenta polyline is there purely as a guide. We're not going to be creating an alignment with the polyline. We're simply going to be using it to help us position our cul-de-sac with simple site design. To begin with, we're going to stay on the roads tab and we're going to go to the network strings pull down and then click on the cul-de-sac button. It's important that we read the command line at this point. It says select cul-de-sac to edit or enter if creating a new cul-de-sac alignment. So we don't have any cul-de-sacs to edit. We can't click on one. So we're going to press enter to create a brand new one. The cul-de-sac form is broken down into two parts, the left and the right. And in the center, you'll see the familiar hover graphics and there'll be help text as well, um, which relates to the hover graphic. This is to help us understand what it is that we're completing within some of the cells and the buttons. The left hand side is related to the alignment creation. As we discussed in the strings module at the very start of this course, the civil site design string begins life on top of an alignment. The alignment controls the horizontal geometry. The string is then placed on the top. So for the first part of this particular lesson, we're going to be focusing on creating the alignment. So go ahead and complete the name as follows. Once you've completed the name, we need to confirm what road string, and it can only be a road string, the cul-de-sac is being attached to. You can see on the pull down, we can actually go ahead and choose our road from a list. If you want to, you can also use the picker tool. So if I click on the picker tool and click somewhere close to the alignment of this particular road string, which is just here, you'll see that road two has automatically been chosen. But again, we're free to go in and change that if we wish. The attachment allows us to attach a cul-de-sac at the start or at the end or at both the start and the end. So we could go ahead and create two if we wanted to. You'll notice that end has already been chosen. When we use the picker tool, the software will read the nearest chainage that it can see located on top of the alignment and determine whether or not that chainage is closer to the end of the alignment or to the start. So in this case, end has automatically been picked. The match code is EB. This match code is derived immediately from the active settings on the first tab. We can go ahead and decide whether or not it should be the EB or whether or not we'd like the geometry that we're going to be assigning very shortly to be assigned to a different code. Traditionally though, EB is the code that we would be picking. Underneath, we can choose the shape of the cul-de-sac. And if you go ahead and click through all of these if you want to, you'll notice that we have different types that we can use and as we go through each of these different types, the hover graphic helps us understand what these cell values will represent on the actual cul-de-sac shape itself. The type we're going to be using is circle, so go ahead and click on that. Underneath, complete the cells as shown. Let's have a look at what we've done here. So we've said the start change. Now the hover graphic uh, clearly shows you what this represents. This represents the start of the first tangent of our cul-de-sac. Now you can either type in a number here or you can use the picker tool, which is what we can do, and actually snap to the start of the polyline. You can see that that's picked up that change. But if you want to refine the number, you can actually type it. We've completed the three radius values and you can see how each one of those is represented. Underneath, you can have an offset center point. Okay, we've left this as zero, but if you wanted to offset the center point from the center line, left would be a minus value, and a just a simple uh, positive value would mean that it goes off to the right hand side of the center line. Underneath, we have pass through point. So if we decided that we wanted to confirm the end of the cul de sac rather than the start, we could check use pass through point. You'll notice that start change is no longer being used. And we can confirm where the pass through point should be for the end of the cul de sac. So I'm just going to use the picker tool. And simply using my snap. So I'm going to hit shift now and right click and pick the intersection snap. 
and you can see where those two uh, lines intersect, that would be the end of the cul-de-sac. We're going to be continuing with start chainage, although these values work, we're simply going to be using the start chainage. So let's just uncheck use pass through point. Those values are now ignored and start chainage is now used. Now, if at any point you want to zoom into the drawing environment, whilst you've got this form open, you will need to click on the zoom icon and that'll allow you to use your mouse wheel to zoom and to pan. So we might just do that just so we can see what's happening and then press escape just to finish. We're then going to come over to the right hand side of the form and click on create update. If you're using Civil 3D, a Civil 3D alignment will have been drawn for you. If you're using AutoCAD or BricsCAD, a Civil Site Design alignment such as this will have been drawn for you instead. The alignment is live, so we can continue to make changes to the geometry even if the entire cul attack has already been created because the alignment controls the string. So if the alignment changes, the string will change. So let's just have a look at radius 2. We've currently got a value in there of 8 and clearly that doesn't marry up to the polyline where we'd like the cul sac to be. So let's go and make a change and make this 8.75. As soon as you make that change, you can come to the right hand side of the form and click on create update. The alignment is then immediately updated. Now we're going to have a look at how we can create the cul-de-sac string.